Hello and welcome. This is the demo video for the Open Builders Hog. As you can see in the video, this is based off of the C-Beam machine with a couple small changes. One of the changes is for the X-axis. The X-axis currently has the extra large C-Beam plate. And on that side, I'm also using the C-Beam facing outwards versus inward. The main reason for that was to keep all the chips and debris out of that channel. The other change was elongating the Y axes from 500 millimeters to 675, and I wanted to be able to access the entire length of the waste board or waste material, and that's 13.75 inches in both directions. Uh, the plate below that is a quarter inch steel plate, which was plasma cut. The main reason why I went with steel is I was trying to avoid deflection when the machine was plunging in. The steel provides a nice rigid platform that does not give or flex or anything of that sort. Currently uh, the machine is equipped with a mist coolant which in this video is non-functional because of my compressor. I'm currently having issues with it so I'm manually applying WD-40. Uh, the spindle in question or in use is the DeWalt 6118M and that's being commanded or controlled by a super PID. The motion controller software behind all of this is Machine Kit, uh, also known as Linux CNC. And that's all ran on a BeagleBone Black with a custom cape. The custom cape basically takes all the traditional pins of a BeagleBone Black and face it outwards to two interfaces. One is an IDC26 and the other one is a DB25. On the DB25 side, it has the traditional step and direction for all four axes. By the way, this machine is also equipped with an indexer or an AK, A axis slash rotary and the limit switches. Oh, the limit switches. So I'm using the inductive style uh, limit switches, which I feel are a little bit more reliable than the mechanical ones since they're solid state. I have targets throughout the machine, which it actually locates those targets when homed. Um, that's basically it. Um, currently in this video, you'll see the machine cut out a half inch piece of 6051 60, aluminum. Uh, the part that it's cutting out is for another machine called Kaiujin, which is a combination of rack and pinion slash C-beam. The rack and pinions for the X axis, which is 1500 millimeters, and the Y axis is the C-beam configuration, 1000 millimeters. The part specifically is for the pinion arm for the rack and pinion. Uh, it's a simple part. Uh, it was cut out in about 27 minutes, and that's basically what this video is going to show.
in Fusion 360, one of my favorite things is the cam simulator, which shows you a one-to-one -one exactly what the machine's going to do, which is nice. One of the neat things I have added on top of that is since the machine was basically designed and built inside of Fusion, including the bed, I can include that as a fixture within Fusion 360. So it knows where the bed's located, it knows where the clamps are, etc, etc, so it can do collision avoidance. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching this. Uh, as usual, everything that's, uh, that deals with the two machines will be available on the Open Builds page, including the BOM and the CAD models. Enjoy!